the number of electrons doesn't always equal to the number of protons. It usually does. Sometimes it's not, and when it's not, it's a charged atom. When it's not neutral, it can either be positively charged or negatively charged. When an atom is not neutral and is negative or positively charged, it's called an ion. When it's positively charged, it's called a cation. That means it has more proton than the number of electrons. And when it's negatively charged, which means it has more electron, then it's called an anion. An easy method to remember which one is positive and which one is negatively charged. Um, cation is positively charged and anion is negatively charged. Is that the word anion, you can get it's a negative ion. So that's how you remember anion is a negative ion. A neutral atom becomes an ion when it gains or loses electron. Let's take a look at oxygen for an example. Oxygen has a proton and a electron. Based on the octet rule, the first orbit, I mean the first energy level has two electrons, and then the second energy level has six electrons, which makes a total of eight electrons. But notice on the outside, from the octet rule, it wants to satisfy eight electrons on the outside, which is the second energy level. But it only has six. So, there's two things that it can do. One, it can lose all six of the electron on the outside, or it can gain two more electrons to make it a complete eight valence on the outside. So which one is the more energy efficient? That's correct. It should gain two more electrons because it's energy efficient that way to gain two electrons to make it complete eight rather than losing the sits. So if oxygen gains two more electrons, then now it has a total of 10 electrons and only 8 protons. It's a negatively charged ion. In this case, what is it called? Now we take a look at sodium for example. Sodium has 11 electrons and 11 protons. So let's follow the octet rule. There's two on the inside. After that there's 8 on the outside. And then another one on the outside, which makes a total of 11 electrons. So now the question of energy efficient, is it better to gain 7 more in order to fill the octet rule, or is it better to just lose 1? That's right, it should lose 1 electron because it's energy efficient that way. So now because uh, sodium loses 1 electron, it will only have 10 electrons, and then it will have 11 protons. So now it's positively charged. In this case, what would it be called? Yes, a cation. Okay, let's do one for example. Let's take sodium and chlorine. Notice sodium has 11 electrons. So therefore, it should have one extra on the outside. So it has a valence of 1. And then chlorine has 17 electrons. 2 on the inside, 8 on the second and 7 on the outside, so it has a valence electron of 7. So notice, sodium wants to lose 1, and chlorine wants to gain 1. So what's a reasonable thing to do? Whenever these thing, two things come in contact, sodium is going to donate one of the electrons to chlorine, and then they'll both be happy. So now, sodium donates one electron to chlorine, and they both become ions. But they fill out the octet rule, so they both become happy ions. Sodium is a cation, and chlorine is now an anion.